Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having an absolutely incredible day. My name is Alicia Masters, and if you are thinking to buy or sell property in and around the Port of Yard Market, I am your girl. All right, so let's get into the details of where I'm at right now. This is one of my favorite developments along the South Shore. Most of the condos that are in any of the Cyan Tropical buildings, Cyan Beach buildings, in Dubai Cyan, Orchid, these are all along the South Shore. Um, a lot of these buildings have direct ocean front. You have views for days. You're walking distance until you get down to the romantic zone and these buildings are not buildings that typically hit our flex MLS system primarily they're like what you're gonna see today this is a pocket listing that means you're not gonna be able to find it online the only way you're gonna know about it is if somebody tells you about it so if you have any interest in um, in this development let me know immediately so that we can schedule an in-person showing or a virtual showing let me get into the design details of where I'm at so today I'm at Inda and what I love about Inda is you have so many wonderful amenities here as soon as you walk in, your guests are greeted with a beautiful, outstanding lobby. There is a, like a co-work space, like a conference room, one of the best gyms that we have here. They have spa services here. You can pop up to the rooftop. There is an incredible pool up there. They, I, I don't know my phone always does that, those crazy things, but anyways. So they have an incredible rooftop up there. It is staffed. They have a wonderful restaurant. Um, there's so much that this place offers, and just being able to have the proximity of the ocean and you're walking over to Romantic Zone is absolute golden. If you are thinking of buying this as an investment property, these places do over 100K a year in return on your investment um, and even more. So I can get you a rental projection because the one that I'm gonna show you today, they've never rented this out before. This was a private residence. There hasn't been any wear and tear. All the furnishings are included. This place has been interior designed from the top to the bottom. It's kind of like got a boho chic kind of vibe. You're gonna see um, with all the interiors as I'm walking around, there is nothing left for you to do. Literally nothing. All of the interior design has already been done. All of the furnishings are here. All of the bedding is here. Pack a toothbrush. If you're looking at an investment property, all we need to do is hook you up with an amazing property manager, which I work with a bunch of different ones that I can recommend to you, and start taking advantage of your lovely, lovely, lovely purchase here in Inda. Okay, so let's get into the details of this place. So I'm on the eighth floor. This is 8A. You are a corner unit. Um, you have 3,000 square feet. There's three bedrooms here with three full baths, and the asking price is $1,795,000 US dollars make an offer like I said this is not something that you're going to see on the flex MLS system this is a pocket listing that means the only way you're gonna find out about it is if somebody tells you about it so if you have any interest in this condo um, contact me my contact information is down below please don't send me an email send me a whatsapp that's gonna be your fastest way to get a response from me we can schedule an in-person showing I can schedule a virtual showing um, I have this video and then they have other videos that I can send as well this is really not something that I think is gonna stay on the market for a long time all they're waiting for is the right offer so so um, hang out to this video. I've got some professional photos that I can throw up at the end so you, that you'll be able to see a still shot. Uh, I'm going to do the virtual tour and then we'll get into a recap. Um, please click like and subscribe to this video. The more times that you guys like and subscribe, the easier it is for me to be able to stay online and continue to bring you these amazing videos that I love to do so much. I do about two to three properties a week of properties that are for sale on the market here in Vallarta. I am very well connected. I've been in tons of different developments in here. I have my finger on the pulse with what is going on here with the real estate in Vallarta. And not only if you're looking to make a purchase of a condo, but also if you're looking to sell your condo too. Um, as you can see, my channel has over 300,000 views at this point um, as of today. And yeah, I'm like a little money making machine over here. So um, with all that said and done, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hang out to the end if you want to see this still shot and let's go get into this. All right, guys, Welcome let's go. Welcome to the outside of Inda. I always like to give you guys a view of what things look like from the outside. So you're coming in off the 200 coming down the St. Barbara Street. You'll make your way through. If you're bringing a taxi um, or an Uber, they can drop you up here. You have a nice circular driveway and then you'll make your way into the lobby. I'll give you guys the full 360 degree view. So you made your way in. There's really nothing on this side. You've got some private residences. And then if you just pop straight down here, you've got beach access. Um, so now that you have seen the outside, wait until you get into this condo. It is so incredible. All right, let's go. This is the view as you are going to walk into your condo. I usually give you a 360 degree view of the front of the building, but I'm gonna give you a 360 degree view of what you're going to see before you even get in. One of the things that I love, I love how they have these little outdoor gardens here, and you're literally looking up into conscious chinas. You have beautiful mountain views before you even enter inside the condo. 
You do have a um, security code here. They have the ring here. Number 8A is where we're going. And as we make our way in, you can already see they have some really wonderful interior design features here. They do like some boho design. Then you have like little touches of Mexican flair that you're gonna see. I just, I don't know if this was professionally interior decorated, but it totally feels like it was. I'm, I'm in love with all of these details. So this is the first bedroom. All of the bedrooms have, um, have ensuite baths. You'll notice they've upgraded the fans here. They even upgraded the ceiling when the developer delivered this unit they had some issues with the finish of the ceiling they totally even care so much about the interior design here that they and the quality of this condo that they even went ahead and redid that like that's such a minute detail so you know if people are putting that much attention to detail to redo the ceiling they have taken care of this place immaculately and also I wanted to mention these are solid Perota hardwood doors that's a tropical hardwood so you don't have any worries of any termites this is a slider door I always love when they do like these farmhouse style sliding doors Let's give you one more view of the bedroom here. This is a king size bed. Now we are going to get into the bathroom. I love these bathrooms here at Inda. I think the developer did a really great job. I like the finishes here, just to kind of give you a look of the finishes um, of the countertop and the cabinet. One thing that I really appreciate is look at the size of this shower. You have a huge shower here. There is a rainfall shower. You have this huge bench in here. I like when they do the indirect lighting. Those are just the little touches that just mean so much. This is a really nice size closet, especially since this is just a uh, not even a primary, right? You already have a, um, a safe here if you wanted to rent this out long term. So now that you have seen bedroom and bathroom number one, let's make our way right across the hall. If you go straight down, there's another bathroom here. We're gonna get into all that in a second, but let's look at bedroom number two. I like how you have a separation here. Both of the guest suites are located in the back of the house. So it's nice and quiet back here. This is a great place to come and have a little retreat in the end of the night. And then you have some separation, especially like if you're a parent and you um, have your kids, your kids can be back here hanging out. And then you guys have the primary suite in the front. Please just overlook the entry where we just came in at. Again, this is a king size bed. And just look at the furnishings here. I just. I really love the way that they have done all of the interior design here. As I said, all of the bathrooms, bedrooms have the ensuite bath. So to get to this one, you're actually gonna walk through the closet. Cyan has done such a great job with these built-ins, with the size of the space of the closet. Now this bathroom, you can actually get to from the bedroom or from the common space. So this would be the bathroom that you would use if you were hanging out in the living room and you needed to go, you would just walk back here. Again, you have the nice large space here to put all your bath products with the indirect lighting. I love how they've done the marble here on the walls from the ceiling all the way up, or from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And it's the same finishes that they have in all of the bathrooms. And this is what I mean, where they just have like touches of Mexico, um, but it's mixed in with like the boho vibe and every little corner, there's just really wonderful interior design. And the fact that they have never used this as a rental, everything is just still in super pristine condition. So you have a full size washer and dryer here. This is obviously the laundry room. Personally, I think I would put some shelving in here. You can definitely clean this up and make it a little bit more organized. Um, I'm very type A if you can't notice. So I think I would definitely put some more um, some cabinetry in there. Then this is really cool. This unit has a storage bodega. So as you see, they have all their personal items in here. But what I really like about them having this storage bodega here is that this is a locked room. So if you wanted to keep that locked, you definitely have a place that you can put all of your stuff. Now we're gonna get into the kitchen, living room, and dining room. You have this whole extra cabinets here with a beautiful marble countertop. I just love how they've done this. They've got it kind of set up as a bar and we're entering into the primary living room, kitchen, dining room. The size of this kitchen is incredible. You have an exhaust fan that's gonna come down from the ceiling. There's indirect lighting all underneath the countertops too. You have a five burner gas stove here. 
nice big pantries. I mean, this place is totally set up if you wanted to live here full time. You don't feel like you're in a hotel. There's so many of these condos that um, they're building now that they're beautiful, but you get into them and there's just no space. You can totally tell this is not made for full time living. You cannot say that about these building, these um, condos here in Cyan at Enda. It's really, these places are incredible. So as you can see, you have open concept, living room, kitchen, dining room. I love the space. Off of that, you've got the primary. We're gonna get to that in just a second. But the quality of the furniture here is impeccable. It's all custom made. And as you can see, just like the doors, this is Perota wood. How do I know it's Perota wood? Perota has these veins in it that are a different lighter color shade, and it's just top quality um, construction here. Really, these videos do not do justice to how absolutely beautiful everything is in here. There's just little design touches everywhere that you look. Okay, so now you've seen the living room. Let's pop over to the dining area. And I think they've just done like the quality of all of the finishes here is so pretty. I like how you have the stone. They did glass um, glass on top of the stone here. You've, you'll see that in a few different spaces here. I wanna show you also just the views that you have off of the living room. You're looking into Cyan Beach. They're Cyan Tropical. They have a um, tennis court over there. And then you're gonna get into the views. But before we walk outside, let me show you one more view of just what this common area space looks like here in the condo. They have a really big, almost two story size covered rooftop here. So when it's raining, you have no worries. Barbecue grill set up. And then as you can come out, you'll kind of notice, so the top of this is covered rooftop, and then you have another rooftop here. Huge, the size of this outdoor balcony is so big. You can see you've got a barbecue grill area. I mean, this is a free space that they have here, but you could definitely put a couple of lounge chairs here. You have a few different options of what you could do with this space. I like how they've used the space here, the table that they've selected. This is like an acid washed um, granite. It's so, so, so beautiful. And then the seating, of, seating area over here is out in front of the primary, which we're gonna get to that in a second. And then these are your views. So you not only have a rooftop pool, but Cyan also has a huge jacuzzi over here. You've got a lounge area, lounge area, big pool and you are toes in sand ocean front. And you do have a beach down there that you can get to, which is really nice. Because if you were to go over to Orchid or the Reef or any of the ones along the South Shore, they don't always have, um, they don't always have beaches out in front, which is important if you wanted to, you know, be toes in sand, you can do that here, ocean front and beach front. Okay, so now that we have seen all of these areas, let's go get into the primary suite. I just love all of the design. It's so pretty. I feel like I'm in almost like an interior design store just because the way they have so much stuff everywhere and it all just flows. It's very calm vibes that you get in here. They even have one of these really cool desks that you can move up and down. So if you are having to work or you're a digital nomad, you have a beautiful place and you're just looking out onto this beautiful ocean. It's, uh, I came in the morning to shoot this um, condo today. So typically you would have beautiful blue skies, um, but since I'm here pretty early, you still are catching, um, you know, the sun isn't quite out yet. Give you an idea for the space. Now we are going to get into the bathroom where you have a double sink vanity. Again, I like that they've taken the finishing here from the ceiling all the way down to the floors. Nice big party shower here. These showers are kind of the same in all of them, right? I love how they have the big bench, the indirect lighting. They've just done a really good job. And then you make your way into the closet. They've got two safes in here, his and hers. You just really have everything that you could need here in this development. And this is one of those places where I walk into it and I'm just like, oh, can I just live here? <laughs> I don't need anything else in life. I could just be here forever. All right, so I wanted to give you guys one more view of what everything looks like. 
And you know what I just realized? I didn't pop outside. I was gonna show you this outdoor area and then I skipped over it, so let's go back. So then this is off of the primary suite. It almost feels like it's its own little retreat over here. I like how they have the balcony set up into different sections. All the plants, everything, it's just, it's a vibe. Hashtag, it's a vibe. I mean, just look at the little collection that they've done up here. The attention to detail, when somebody puts this much attention to detail into their place, you just know, you can feel the love that they have for this space. And now I wanna show you the views once again. And don't forget you're in a fish islands here, so things appear a lot farther away than they actually are. Oh, the sun is finally starting to come out. So probably when I get up on the rooftop, we'll have really nice, beautiful blue sky. All right, so now let's go back through, give you one more look before, um, before we head up. I will probably go upstairs first. Let's look at uh, the rooftop and then I'll make my way downstairs so that you can see all of the amenities that are here. Then we'll get into a recap. Then I will throw some professional photography um, photos that, so that you guys can see that as well. All right. Goodbye, beautiful condo, 8A, 1.795 million US dollars, three bedrooms, three baths, 3,000 square feet. We will see you next time. Let's go into the amenities now. Welcome to the rooftop of Inda. And like I told you guys, this is one of two pools. So if you wanna come up to the rooftop, it's a totally different vibe from what you're gonna see down below. When you walk out, you have a couple of bathrooms. I'm gonna get into the pool, then I'll walk down because when you look at the pool from here, it's like, yeah, it looks good. When you walk all the way down, oh my gosh, this pool is absolutely humongous. It's an infinity edge pool that goes all the way around. And I'll show you all that when I get there, but just so you can kind of see, so you have some loungers that are in the pool there's a jacuzzi you have like those little cabana things that you could hang out at you have an outdoor shower there's so many people i don't want to be bothering people but you've got like the little benches here so you can sit all around <laughs> now we're going to come down to the bar the restaurant is so inexpensive here the staff is so wonderful the food is really good the cocktails are great this is a great place if you're a digital nomad you can come up here and just take a little break get some work done underneath these beautiful big white tarps, which is kind of like the signature style, lets you know that you're in Inda. So you can have a total um, experience out here of coming up here to work, coming up here to get um, some food and just look at the size of this pool. And you're looking out over the entire bay. You can see, which I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of get a feel for just how beautiful this is up here. So that over here, you've got all um, the Vidanta properties. You can see all of the hotel zone, the, or actually that's Nuevo. Then you've got the airport. You have the Marina, the hotel zone. You're literally seeing all of Vallarta from this big humongous swimming pool. And then this is kind of cool. So as you see here, the pool, it goes all the way around the top of this building. It's so neat. But then, so I showed you everything along the North shore. Now you can come down and see everything along the South shore. You're seeing all the way down around. You can see Los Arcos over here. It's just, you are on top of the world here. The backdrop of the Conscious Tunis Mountain really and there's always really good vibe when you come up here like I love the music I think the people who come here are always really cool this is just Inda is one of my favorite developments that we have here um, along the South Shore because it's a beautiful building it's very well taken care of you have lots of amenities you can even get room service ordered to your room they have two different restaurants here you have a restaurant on this level and then there's a restaurant on the third level we're gonna pop down to that now but as you can see, there's just a lot going on up here in the rooftop. So now that you have seen all of this, let's make our way down into um, the third level, which has the rooftop or which has the pool. Yeah, it has another pool, has a restaurant, and then we'll go down to the second level where you can see the lobby, the gym, and the spa. Let's go. As you make your way out of the elevator, this is the third floor, which I have been to a beautiful party here before. So you can totally rent this entire space out if you wanted to. There was a DJ here, they had a dance floor, it was catered, it was an absolutely beautiful event. Um, so I just know that this is a really cool restaurant lounge area down here. You can rent this space out. And if you're afraid of heights, it's cool because you have two different bars here. 
uh, excuse me, two different pools here. So you can be hanging out on the rooftop pool or you can come down to this third level pool, which you still have incredible views from here too. Because you're a little bit lower, you are able to see more of like the pier for Los Muertos. Kind of, there it is. Yeah, the Los Muertos pier, you just have a completely different vibe down here than you do up top. Now I'm gonna walk to the edge of the building then I'm gonna show you what everything looks like um, from the exterior. So you have a huge jacuzzi here. I love when they do like those little cocoon style um, seating. Whole extra place to lounge down here. Give you more of the idea of the views. And then we'll flip it back around so you can see the exterior of the building. Another infinity edge pool here, another really cool little cocoon chair, and welcome to the exterior of Inda. Okay, so now that you guys have had a chance to see the restaurant, the lounge, the bar area here on the third level, we're gonna make our way down to the second level, which is where you enter. And then in there, you have like a, a conference room. There is an incredible gym. Literally one of the best gyms that we have here um, is in this development. So I think if you, um, if you like to work out, you're gonna be super excited to see what this gym looks like here. Um, the lobby is spectacular. Imagine if you've got guests here that have never been to Puerto Vallarta. This is their first time. This is a luxury with a capital L. I am obsessed with this development. Okay, so let's get back in the elevator and make our way down to the second level. Welcome to the lobby here at Inda. This is where your guests are going to arrive. It is absolutely beautiful. And just like the condo that we were just in, it's just all this collection of beautiful spaces. I mean, this is a beautiful lounge that you can come and hang out at. I love how they did, look at the mixture of the floor. They have all these really super cool tiles. I mean, these are just the little attentions to detail that make such a big difference. This entire wall, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this entire wall is a waterfall. Then you're gonna come over to the conference room and then we're gonna make our way into the spa and the gym. Conference room. Everything down here is all open air. It's almost like a two level because the parking is down below. So now let's go into the gym where you can have a trainer come. And then I also wanted to point out too, so they have a spa here. So I'm just gonna give you like an idea of what everything costs here for the spa. You can get a Swedish massage for 850 pesos, reflexology 850 pesos. They do deep tissue massages, body scrubs. They do all kind of cool stuff. And personal training, one hour for only 700 pesos. Come on, you can pay hundreds of dollars just for an hour in the States. And here, that's like what? $35, $40. All right, so beautiful design. Mirrors all over everywhere, and this gym is so well equipped. You have machines in here that I don't even know what they do. <laughs> Tough Stuff is one of the brands that they have here. Chest press machine, shoulder press machine. They have cable systems. They have the hanging bar here where you can work your abs. Lots of different equipment in here. I like how everything is all set up a free weight section, a hack squat. Then you have some bikes, getting into your cardio equipment. And then, so you're in the gym, hanging out here, you've got a whole cable system. And then back behind here is where you're gonna find the spa, which I just mentioned all of those details. So now that you guys have had a chance to see, and I'm not gonna go in because I don't know if they have um, people in there, but now that you've had a chance to see this amazing gym and all the amenities, let's get into a quick recap. All right, so now that you've seen this incredible condo, let's get into the details one more time. The asking price is $1,795,000 US dollars. You have three bedrooms here with three full baths, exactly 3,000 square feet. Everything that you saw was included. All the furnishings are included. If you want more information, look down below in the description. You're gonna see more information about this condo, how you can get in contact with me. Don't forget WhatsApp is the best way to reach me. Please don't send me an email because I get so many. The fastest response is going to be WhatsApp for you to um, get, like I said, a quick response from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hang out to the end if you'd like to see the professional photos and I will catch you at the next one. All right guys, have a great day, bye.